It was at this time that my girlfriend suffered a stroke. She had two aneurysms that were bleeding, so they called both of them. So traumatic brain injury times two. Um, it was a difficult time for me, um, day to day, for six weeks in the hospital, um, not knowing, you know, what the day would bring. Um, by the grace of God, she made it through. Um, so for two years now, I've been caring for her uh, through the home services program as a personal assistant. Um, at the time, I knew nothing about the program, didn't know it exists. So I was very thankful to find out that I would be able to earn a paycheck at the same time that she would be able to get the care that she needed in our home as opposed to a nursing home. Taking a shower, um, getting dressed. These are types of things that a stranger would have to do for her if it were not for the home services program that allows me to be there for her. Um, and it would be the same for thousands of others in the same situation. Other consumers are able to keep their self-esteem, keep their self-respect, keep dignity that I know all of us would want to have put in the same situation. I speak for not only myself, but as others have re it reiterated, uh, thousands of people across the state. Thousands of people just like me who won't be able to be a taxpayer anymore, won't be able to pay rent or utilities. For the consumers, thousands of consumers, just like my girlfriend, who will not be eligible for services anymore. Fiscally, it's irresponsible for the state of Illinois to, to make nursing homes an option as opposed to the home services program. So in closing, I just want to say that bad things happen to good people and that we cannot afford to have any cuts or raise the Don score to the Home Services Program. Thank you.